okay. That's weird. Um, where do I start? Hi everyone, it's Laura. I hope you're good. That's kind of awkward for you and me, I guess, because I haven't been active since last September, I guess, so almost one year. I am so, 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 so sorry for that. As I say every year, I'm trying to be more active on the channel, but there's always something like blocking me or when I record a video, I'm just like, oh, I don't look good enough. I don't look I don't like myself. Also, I just noticed you never saw me with long hair, but I did. Wait, let me try to find a picture. I cut it back, it was a month ago, because it grew pretty fast and it was like that curly. I don't know if you can see. I, I want my hair to be healthy, so I just decided to cut it. So, for this video, I was thinking about, about doing a recap, like a year recap, because we haven't talked, right, for a year. A lot of things happened, good, bad things. So I thought it would be nice to talk about my experience, what changed in my life. Also, my bang is very long, I need to cut it. But it's summer and you know Japan is very humid, so I'm just like, should I let it grow? Okay, so little recap, the last video was in at Disneyland. I went for my birthday in August and I uploaded it in October. No sense. October 14th. Actually, three weeks before that, something really bad happened to me. I got really sick. I had to go to the hospital like every week, kinda. I kinda got operated. Like, I had surgery until March then everything was fine so just before entering my dance school which was good oh uh, also in December I got my GLPT N2 and I passed it <coughs> then I had a lot of different jobs as you might know I was working in a kindergarten and in a bakery at the same time well I quit both of them <laughs> I started working for Bigo. Out of nowhere, I started working at Hollister in Odaiba. Actually, they don't pay the train and train was very expensive. And because I was working like different days of the week, you know, it was not like fixed. The train and the buses changed every day, like every day. So if I missed my bus, I wouldn't be able to go and it would cost me more money to take train and stuff so I decided to quit. Beside Hollister, I was working as an English teacher. I had so many jobs it's like kind of confusing. And now I have three jobs. I mean I'm working a, a little bit at the bakery again just like this month to try to you know save a little bit of money. I'm working as a babysitter which is really fun and I got accepted in an idol group. I know I, I mean for now on it's not idol it's only cosplay. That's kind of my dream so I hope it's gonna work. I hope it's gonna work. Also, if you want to meet us, we're gonna be... Let me check. We're gonna be at Komika on the 9th of August and we're gonna be at Tonakosu on the 10th. So if you want to meet, take pictures and stuff, just like... Come to that place. In April, I finally entered my dream school. The dance school that I've been dreaming for 5-6 years now. It's... It's so great. It's so great. Like... I get to dance every day. I also sing because I took like the dance and vocal course. We also have like music theory, IT. I do every kind of dance. I have like modern jazz, street jazz, freestyle, ballet, dance and vocal like idols, contemporary jazz, theme apart, kind of a hip hop class, tap dance. I have tap dance, guys. I'm just so happy about it. And the teachers are so nice and my classmates are so nice too. It's hard to have friends because after class usually I just like to go home. I don't go out so European way of thinking and Japanese way of thinking is quite different. Also the mentality. I'm not saying that one is better than the other, like it's just too different so it's hard to make friends but everyone is being so nice to me. I'm just very grateful for that. The schedules are kind of complicated. I do more than 40 hours per week just school. So imagine with my work, I can work up to 28 hours per week, which I'm not doing. I'm doing like 15 hours, so I'm like 55 hours per week. My worst day is on Thursday, like I start at 10 a.m. and I finish at 9 p.m. without any break. 
crazy, right? If you hear that, it's like kind of crazy, but that's how it works there. And I can't complain, I can't. We we're preparing a musical, but I just feel like quitting, to be honest, because it's taking too much of my time. Like, we have rehearsals on Tuesdays, Saturdays and Sundays, and most of the time it's like 8.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. or one day we finished at 9 p.m. and we don't even have summer vacation because of that. From Monday to Sunday, non-stop, we're gonna have these kind of schedules. I, I just can't because I don't have a big role. I didn't get accepted. So it's like sitting there for 10 hours, my knees hurt, my back hurts, my lower back. Recently, I'm having a lot of fever due to stress, literally stress, but I'm scared of quitting, so I just don't know. and meet my friends. I haven't met them for, yeah, since I've been to that dance school, because I have no time. I mean, I met them once, because they came to my school festival, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's kind of like, I need vacation. And for the idol group, we're doing so many good stuff. Like, we had a photo shoot. We get along so well, we're all foreigners, and everyone is so nice and, I love it. I, I just love it. We got to go to a Matsuri, like Japanese festival. I was wearing a yukata for the first time of my life. It was pretty exciting. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the moment. But we're gonna do lives on showroom. Everything is in the description, so you can check by yourself. And from now on, I would like, I would love to start YouTube again and do dance covers song covers but I'm scared you know that you're not gonna like my voice and like apartment tour finally the question and answer video it show you my life routine also I had this ID for a long time you know but I don't have the money for it because it costs a lot of money it has something to do with food so I'm trying to save money right now to do that video also big question I lost my English I don't speak English I've been speaking Japanese for three months I even lose my French I don't know if from now on I should do my videos in English or in French in French I can express myself faster, better, you know, I don't have to think about what I say but English, a lot of people are coming from around the world, especially America and stuff so I was like maybe I should just continue in English but of course I'm gonna put subtitles in both ways which one is better? I need your answers also if you have ideas for my future videos, I would love to hear it and now I have to go to work so I hope you enjoyed, I hope you forgive me for not being active and I will see you soon, I hope! So yeah, bye bye!